Hi there, I'm Peter Minakis, and today I'm going to show you how to naturally dye Easter eggs. Greek Easter is coming up, and uh, I've done a little bit of experimenting, and uh, what we're going to do is show you make blue Easter eggs, and then the more traditional ones, uh, the red Easter eggs. And what we're going to use is a purple cabbage, or the leaves of purple cabbage, and the skins from yellow onions. This is going to make our blue eggs, this is going to make our red eggs. Curious? Watch this. So let's show you how we're gonna make those blue eggs. So what I got is a purple cabbage and the basic recipe is you need about one cup of cabbage plus about four cups of water and you're gonna simmer that for at least 30 minutes or until you have the desired color. And how can you tell the desired color is you're simply going to put a spoonful of the dye into a white uh, plate and you'll take a look. So I'm just going to come over here to the sink and we're adding approximately four cups of water here. Okay. And we have good old standard white vinegar and I'm just going to eyeball it a couple of tablespoons. One, two, and we put that on bring it to the boil and we'll simmer. Okay, so that's the first one. Now we'll show you make those red Easter eggs. One would think that the uh, red onions would give you red eggs, but not the case. What actually work are the skins of yellow onions. Okay, so once again what you need is about one cup of onion skins. I, I pre-peeled these off of uh, about approximately 10 medium to large onions. And what we're going to do is we're going to add about, again, four cups of water. We're going to add that white vinegar in, again, two tablespoons. And we're going to bring that up to a boil and then lower it to simmer for about a half hour or so until we get that desired color. And then we're going to add the eggs in. Okay, so our uh, cabbage and our uh, yellow uh, onion skins have been uh, simmering for about half an hour. If you come take a look closer, you can see the color of the purple cabbage. It still looks purple, but miraculously, you can see that's going to turn the eggs into blue. All right, so let's put a few in here. Okay, I'm going to take the cabbage out a little bit afterwards. So there we go. You can kind of see that uh, that's going to bring them up. So we'll put that over here and what we're going to do is we're going to bring that back up to simmer. And over here now is our yellow onion skins and if you take a look at the liquid there it's turning a lovely red. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to hard boil your eggs in the dye because that way it's actually going to have a deeper color and you won't have any worries about your eggs. Uh, the, the, the color from the eggs coming off and so let's put that up back to a simmer and So our eggs are in the dyes And what we want to do is want to hard boil our eggs for about five minutes We'll turn the heat off let them cool inside the dye and then if you really want the for, uh, The best result with your uh, naturally dyed eggs. You're then gonna once it cools throw them in the fridge overnight and uh, Then the next day we'll, we'll uh, let them dry out We'll polish them with a little bit of vegetable oil and you're going to have some gorgeous looking naturally dyed Easter eggs. So here are our naturally dyed Easter eggs. We have the blue one which was made using purple cabbage and we have the really traditional Greek Easter egg, red, uh, the red ones. And uh, this was made from actually yellow onion skins. Pretty cool stuff. I'm not sure what the science behind it is but I think the result is really good. This is like my second time doing them. and. Uh, uh, it, it's for best results you want to have them uh, you want to boil them for about five minutes and then turn off the heat and let them actually steep overnight uh, in the fridge once the actual dye has cooled and uh, afterwards you're going to take them out carefully you can let them air dry and then you'll just polish them a little bit of the paper towel and the oil uh, one final thing about these naturally dyed eggs is that if you want to stick the red egg in your chureki uh, unlike the, the uh, the packages of dye that you buy from your local Greek grocery and stuff, the dye won't bleed into your tzureki, so actually your, your tzureki will actually be much more visually appealing. 
Αυτά από μένα. Thanks very much for uh, uh, following uh, the recipe here. Uh, it will also be on my uh, blog, calafagas.ca, and uh, wishing you all a, a wonderful Easter.